Good morning, guys. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Behind me is one of the coolest A90 Supras in the world. It's manual swapped and it's got a 2JZ. And I got my friend Mark here to show you all about it. So guys, this is my buddy Mark, Pterodactyl Tactics on YouTube. Tell me a little bit about your Supra. This thing is uh, epic. Hi guys. Well, this is my 2020 Toyota Supra. Chassis has about 400 miles on it. We ripped the motor out as soon as I got it. And we swapped the 2JZ in here. It's six speed as uh, Parker mentioned. Um, it's fully built. It can make about 1200 wheel. Right now it's on low boost. It's making about 800 wheel still super fun to drive. Part of what makes this car so special to me is when I bought my A90 Supra, my goal was to put a 2JZ and a manual in it. Long story short, it didn't happen, but Mark killed it so hard, it's unbelievable. Check this out, guys. A beautiful 2JZ GTE strapped in an A90 Supra. What every enthusiast wanted the A90 Supra to come with, and you did it. I did, uh, with the help of 412, of course. Um, the motor is a it's still a 3.0 it's fully built uh the head ha has a five angle valve job it's port and polished we have gsc 278 cams really aggressive uh the motor mounts are solid so the car vibrates a lot but it's pretty interesting on this specific swap 412 and i decided to actually push the motor back as far as possible so it really helps with the handling of the car these motors weigh about 300 pounds more than the factory b58 wow so yeah because it's cast iron instead of aluminum but with that added weight the further you push it more into the middle of the car the better handling you get and it handles amazingly the bottom end is fully built as well we have rods pistons it's running 10 and a half compression the, the motor is fully fully done we have a 76 75 precision turbo there uh down pipe all the way, dual wastegate manifold, titanium piping, you name it, it's here. Uh, and right now it's on low boost, we're making 18 pounds, about 800 wheel. And how many pounds of boost can it make? Before? 45. 45? Yeah, and so that what, that's like 1300 wheel, something like that? Uh, we're trying to break the world record in a couple weeks uh, with this chassis. I think it's around 1100 wheel horsepower. Gotcha. So if we can get anything above that, I'd consider that a win, even though it's not a B58. I still want that title there if I can get it. So the only thing that makes me feel okay about not having gone through with this is that this took you, what, two and a half years to do? I'm, s yes, and it's still not done. Somebody like you, you need so much patience, and I gave up like six times, but yeah, I mean, I, it's fun, it's cool, the end result's fun, but. It also makes this car 10 times cooler though, because it took you so long to put it together, it, it and did. nobody else really has one. You would know, how many 2JZ manual Supras are there? I know there's three drift cars. Gotcha. But I don't know any street cars in the world. I don't think I've seen one. I've yeah. never seen one. Again, you only know what's out there. Sure, like sure, what's sure. What's posted, so I haven't seen anything. I think I'm the only street car in the world, but I don't know. You guys tell us. So let's take a look at the exterior because you've done some tasteful mods as well. I have never been a huge fan of the wide body kits. Some of them look all right, but I think the stock Supra body looks kind of nice and you've added some really tasteful mods. I agree with you with the whole non-wide body thing, especially with Japanese cars. In order to keep them timeless, you got to kind of keep them stock body, OEM plus look. The full carbon lip kit is Aim Gain from Japan and we actually made the rear diffuser a single exit uh, because it comes dual exit for the single e exit exhaust. This is a Saibon. Uh, carbon fiber wing. The idea of this build was to make it look like a Mark IV Supra, just updated, including the 2JZ. That's why I have five spokes on here. The wing with the with the single exhaust does really make it look like a Mark IV Supra. It's Mark IV vibes. I tried so hard to find one of these wings, and I couldn't find one when I had my Supra. So You're looking too early. Now they're available. You can get it at Saibon anytime you want. Fair enough. Uh, the wheels are Workmeisters. Three-piece wheels built by AR Motorworks, my buddy Ron over there. Very cool. Love them. The fenders, what you were talking about right here, these are EVS fenders. It's a must-have for any stock body Supra, in my opinion. It makes the car look wide. Yeah, no, it does. <laughs> it's it, super, super, super sick. It's and the wide body without the wide body. It's the wide body without the wide body. And I have APG 8 piston front brakes, very necessary for this build. Uh, so shout-outs to APG for hooking me up with those. 
and that's basically it. Any suspension work or? I have HKS coilovers gotcha. on there. It's more than enough to get the job done. Not only did you make it 800 or 1200 horsepower, you actually upgraded the brakes and the suspension and, and did stuff that's necessary for a car like that. You gotta stop. Let's yeah. take a look at the interior because yeah. <laughs> the mods don't stop. Sure. So coming on the inside, the first thing I noticed was, boom, three pedals. Those pedals are awesome. Oh yeah, those project, project new project new pedals, all Japanese stuff. We have a Vertex uh, steering wheel with a Workspell hub, which is kind of cool to kind of get in and out of. Oh, the, that's awesome! In and out of the car. We have an Aim Sports digital cluster here uh, for display purposes. I just like that. We have Brid Lomax seats over here, carbon Kevlar back with Takata harnesses, and we have a custom cage from Mobile Weld Specialist here uh, that's powder coated in teal. So obviously we have the six-speed gearbox here. E46 M3 six-speed transmission. No this, way. This is off a of E92 M3 shift knob. That's where you can see the, the, the gear pattern here. The reverse is to the left, but I did add Supra on there, kind of just a small little touch. Look at that. He's added Supra <laughs> to the top of the shift knob. That is way cool. Does that come in handy yet? Not yet, but okay, good. Let's keep it that way. Yeah, I'd say it's necessary. As a huge BMW fan, hearing that this car is a 2JZ with an E46 M3 transmission in it, that is way, way cool. And uh, the mods don't stop. He's got some stuff in the rear trunk too. In the rear, all I have, because you know, you still want to save room for groceries and things like that. So all I have here is a uh, aftermarket industries surge tank here for the fuel. Uh, and that is it. Speaking of fuel, what do you run this on mostly? E85 only. I don't even have a flex fuel sensor. How inconvenient is that in California to find? Not that bad? It's not that bad, but it's inconvenient. In Michigan, where I used to live, E85 was everywhere. So all my GTR friends were like so set, but here it seems like it's a, a it's a rare currency. There's a lot of E85 stations here, but I prefer to be on flex fuel just gotcha. because for long distance and stuff. But right now it's E85 and it's better for us. All right guys, so he's gonna take me for a ride in the Supra, teach me everything about it, and then let me go for a rip. I am excited. the wheel of the Supra now about to go for a spin I'm excited <laughs> me too let's go this thing has no air conditioning and what were you saying about the navigation well it's funny because it's not activated yet and because the car only has like three four hundred miles on the chassis so I still have to take it into the dealer for them to, to activate it so <laughs> can you imagine taking this thing in for a service <laughs> yeah I don't know it uh, I think I just need an oil change or something it's sounding a little weird yeah I didn't order this this weird smell too <laughs> I'm sure I'll figure this out when I drive it, but how difficult is this thing to drive around town? Like, is it somewhat streetable, like, it's, in all honesty? It, yeah, it is. It just, first gear, just engaging the clutch, the yeah. triple disc, it's a little difficult, but once you get past that, it's totally streetable. That totally awesome. streetable, and you'll make that call. <laughs> oh, the blow-off valve sound incredible. No blow-off valve. No blow-off valve. Yeah. It's the turbo surging. So, so when you don't put a blow off valve on uh -huh. the car, the, the turbo, if it's an anti surge turbo, yeah. it'll just surge and it makes that sound. But no blow off Wow. Yeah. And that's controllable? Like how? No, it just, it just happens. Okay. Because right, when gotcha. the boost builds up so much, the turbo lets it out instead of the blow off valve. But that doesn't put it into limp mode or anything no, like that? No, not at all. It's actually, I mean, it's awesome. That's epic. I told him to come in some of the tightest canyons in all of California. It's okay. It's all right. It's still fun. Well, it certainly sounds a lot cooler than an A90 Supra. I think so. And I think it's funny that today, the day I'm filming this is the same day that Toyota said that they're actually officially putting a manual yeah, in I the saw, Supra. I saw that. Which yeah. I believe is definitely like a, uh, let's try to steal some customers from the upcoming Nissan Z because that has a, a manual. That's definitely oh, yeah. their, their last minute play. But. Uh, yeah, I think I'd rather buy a 2020 and uh, manual swap and put a 2JZ than buy a 2023 Supra with a manual. Too. I mean, I did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> obviously you do. Wow, full carbon buckets, that's pretty cool. Yeah, Kevlar, they're, they're awesome. The car handles super good, honestly. Yeah, it actually 
actually feels pretty decent. I thought maybe it was going to have some floaty drag suspension with Hoosiers on the back or something, but You'll love nothing it. of the sort. You'll love driving. No one, no one else has ever driven this car besides me and the guy who built it. So well, I appreciate the honor. <laughs> Alright, that was legit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's pretty quick. It's fun. And this is at the low power level. This is low. That's unbelievable. Is, yeah, so what low. broke to make you want to like dial it down while you're figuring things out? My drive shaft split in half. Okay. I blew my transmission to smithereens. Um, I, this is my fifth diff. I'm on fifth? Fifth. Oh my God. Yeah, we're actually, you like BMW stuff. We're on it. We switched to E92 M3 diff. So, really? Yeah, right now, and, and it's and it's doing okay. That's so pretty far. cool. Yeah. Not a lot of E92s making this kind of power. That's that's interesting. No, but it's it's holding. I mean, we're just trial and error at this point. No, for real. So how did you come across putting an E92 dip? Somebody had one, or you were- So the guys who built this car with me, 412, yeah. they're BMW legends. I mean, they know everything about BMW. And it's funny because BMW parts just fit in this car. Yeah, that is so funny. The transmission, <laughs> we didn't even have to do custom brackets for it. It just bolted up right in. Really? The chassis. Yeah. So it was. Hilarious. We were laughing. No, that's had, actually unbelievable. Yeah, because he, he had so many spare parts. He's like, man, let's just try to see if this bolts up, and <laughs> we didn't have to create a bracket <laughs> for it. That's it just, so like, it just funny. bolts right in. It's hilarious. This car is so low, it's unbelievable. It looks like it should be on an air ride, but it's not, it's static. <laughs> static. Was your, so kind of the first build that I ever, I think I actually followed you on Instagram before we ever met. He had this insane wide body super trofeo. I gotta, talk, I gotta talk about that. Okay, yeah, please do. Your review at SEMA, I watched so many times because- <laughs> Really? Because you were the first big YouTuber that, and I'm sorry if I'm labeling you that way, but you're the first big YouTube channel that went out of your way, you knew about my car, you went and, you know, you saw my car, you reviewed it, you loved it. It like almost, I swear to God, I'm not, I'm not gay. You can, you can that, <laughs> but it, it literally, which way am I going? Go to the right. You, it literally made me tear up almost because I, because I felt like that all that hard work that I did was appreciated by somebody of like your caliber. No, no I appreciated it. That's and awesome. That really meant a lot to me. So like, yeah, it was just really cool. Hell yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that was at the BBS booth, right? It was, yeah. So that was really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. And here's anti-lag gear. Step, which is cool, but two step is on Excel. So two step, you know, you're you're excel you're accelerating and then it's being doing bangs and pops. Yeah, yeah. Anti lag on diesel, yeah, which is super wow. which is super cool. So when you let off, it's building boost and then you can just fucking go eight. All right, you got to do that one more time. Oh yeah, don't mind. <laughs> I am in 
incredibly jealous. <laughs> I still gotta like fine tune the the parts of that what the what the the drive shaft and the diff actually want to feel because we've broken broken so much shit, dude. I swear, that's the only that's the only problem. But other than that, I love the car. It's streetable, right? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. Just after you get out of first. Even first, look, like, first gear feels more comfortable than a freaking Aventador. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. No, it's it's totally streetable. If you get the AC working. Yeah. That part's a little. Uh, I'll get that. I don't know. That's race car, though. I'm sure a bunch of people in the comments will be like, "It doesn't need AC." I want AC. I got the. I mean, the radio works. All the works. Yeah. No. This you is know? a full-on road car. Basically, fully a Supra, just uh, with some intense modifications. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I can't imagine anyone can hate on this thing. It's actually <laughs> epic. <laughs> <laughs>